I'm going to show you how you can subdivide your data set in order to better visualize your data. So I've got a data set down here that I'm going to use. So the first thing you need is to make sure that you have your classifiers. So you can see here species and then it's separated into each of these field species. So now when I go on subdivide data set by, it gives me that option. So we can do it where it will create a data set for every single um, criterion, or you could just do it so you only select a specific one. You can see here, it's got each of those separate data sets. So now if I want to just visualize all of the data, So this is for all three of those three species. And then if I look at the principal component scores, I can visualize that like that. But I might want to be able to see what each of these species looks like separately. And then perhaps like when you do your final figure, have that as a transformation grid or a wireframe on the um, on the final figure. So what we can do is each of these separate ones that we've just made, we can do the same thing. So this is the wireframe graph for just that one species. And also if we look at the one here, so Limithrus was red, so perhaps when you do your final graph, you might want to just perhaps a transformation grid and then we could make those points red like so and then you'd be able to just have that on your graph and then one of your movements so Nigodosalis is green. Like so, and then you'll be able to put that on there. Yeah, it's a good way of visualizing your data and making final figures. 